asking my audience of the future times. Oh, it's good to see everybody this morning, yeah. Yeah, this is a, just a demonstration of how some of us animal lovers wake up back here in the 21st century, 2019 to be exact. The day today is February the 3rd. And I woke up. Some of us are lucky enough to have our protectors keep us safe all night long. And I don't just have one protector. I've got a couple of them. Here's the other one. Now these guys were sleeping next to each other. Aww. Books. Thanks for keeping me safe last night. Thank you so much for keeping me safe last night. You're such a good dog. Oh, and then there's... Wait, I gotta show... I gotta show the audience the future times, man. Frida, first thing. Oh, not getting away from books, though. I don't know if you can see or not, but that's that's Manfredo over there. Oh, oh. I hope Manfredo is not dead. She's not moving. She must be pretty tired. Man, Frida. Man, Frida, time to get up. What are you up to there, Books? We call this the morning routine. And the morning routine begins the moment a human being kind of uh, comes to, regains consciousness, uh, awakens. I don't know about in the year 3020, perhaps you don't even have the need to sleep anymore. Human beings in the 21st century and all throughout history were, at least we're pretty sure all through history that human beings have always required uh, some time off to uh, fall asleep. We call it sleep when we pass out and rest ourselves. We need about anywhere between six to nine hours um, a night, depending who you talk to. Some people have 12 hours sleep, some people have four. Uh, yeah, I think there's a debate on oh, she moves, as to what the proper amount of sleep is. I'm going to say seven hours, a good solid. You're in bed, and seven hours later you can start to wake up. It's reasonably healthy for me, personally, yeah. So cute. Man Frida. Man Frida. Man Frida. Man Frida.